everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we're going to talk about Goodlock 2020, the March updates. So today is March 4th, and I've seen a few updates pass through already, and it's at good times because the Galaxy Z Flip is now out, and this is also working with the Galaxy Z Flip, as well as the Galaxy S20 family. So if you have any Galaxy S20 series phone, if you have the Galaxy Z Flip, all of the modules are working with GoodLock. Now, really the only one you're gonna notice is not sitting there anymore is gonna be the Navstar, and I don't know if that'll ever really come back. I mean, honestly, when it comes down to the gestures and the Android 10 gestures of going back and going home, hitting inside your recents, there's really nothing that's better than this, with my personal opinion. Some might like the navigation on the bottom, but I feel the gestures for Android 10 is just fantastic, and I would actually never go back, and I was a huge fan of Navstar. So let's go through a few of the updates that has happened with GoodLock 2020 for March. And I also feel that some of these will also get updated as the Galaxy S20 gets into more people's hands. So, you know, the phone does come officially launched on March 6th, which is on Friday, uh, but you're gonna see a lot of updates happening this week and next week, and it works right now if you have the S20. So taking a look at just a couple things that I've noticed that has changed when it comes down to Lockstar. So there's a few different things you can do here. One of the first ones is gonna be the lock screen timeout. So with this one, it was never really there from before. Uh, the default timeout was like 10 seconds. So that means that if you had a really cool, like let's say maybe like a live wallpaper or a really cool you know, scene that is happening here, it would actually time out right after the video played. In order for you to actually watch the whole thing, you'd have to press and hold on the screen so you can watch the whole video play out. Uh, Maybe some people love the fact that you're able to just relook at the phone just maybe 60 seconds later, 30 seconds later. You can still see the time, you can see your video, you can see any notifications that there is. Uh, so that screen timeout being added um, all the way up to five minutes is actually pretty cool when it comes down to the screen timeout. Now the other thing is that when you go through and you edit your little lock screen that's sitting right here, uh, let's say that right over here is your position. Uh, so this is where you can change the position of the clock. So because I have a really cool you know, wallpaper sitting right up here, uh, if it did show like 1039, those little two dots were sitting on this pole, it was actually pretty cool. Um, but you can change it left side, right side, everything else. Uh, but the other really cool thing is that underneath the clock, you're able to change the size. So when you go through here, I don't believe this was sitting here from before. If it was, I missed it, uh, but it's there. It's, it's, it's just plain as sight. You can make your clock bigger, smaller. You can go through, change whatever you want it to look like. I found out that this one works really good uh, with the, the wallpaper that I'm using. So you'd be able to uh, change the clock. You can also put auto layout. So this way you can put it where it feels is best. So as you go through all of these here, these are gonna be your normal, you know, default little clocks that you have that you're able to use. If you have clock face, then you're gonna have a lot more added. You can see that this is just going and going and going. So all of these back here are actually coming from clock face. You're gonna notice that all of these written out words are actually, uh, there's quite a bit more of them from before. So usually there's only just a few, maybe two or three, of the written out times. Now there's also not this many of the clock looking types as well. Here's your speedometer with the, with the mustache, or here, actually here's another speedometer. So this one is one with a mustache with glasses. That's the speedometer. Here's your bike. A few of these is also written out. Um, let's see, let's go back over here uh, to check out some of the wallpapers. So this is where you can choose anything from your gallery. Here's all of these pretty cool pastel looking type wallpapers. A few of these will also be added in. Uh, when it comes down to position, not only can you change your, your clock, um, but you're also able to change where your notifications go. Now, because this one is, you know, my personal wallpaper that I'm using, uh, I'm going to put it, you know, usually right around there. I can have it right around here, kind of filling up one of those blocks. It's pretty cool. This wallpaper comes from an application that's called UltraPix. Uh, UltraPix is literally the best wallpaper application you can use right now. Uh, you can go through your, your items, you know, what is going to be shown down over here. So mine's kind of set up pretty good. That's enough for the lock star of what was added. Uh, some of the other things, so I went through Quickstar. I didn't really see too many things. 
Uh, you can change your clock position, the visibility of indicator boxes. So because I don't like having the word AT&T on the top, I actually just turned it off. That's really the only thing that I use Quick Start for. Because I am using dark mode, I don't wanna go through and change how my Quick Start on the top looks. So I really only use it to take away AT&T. Task Changer, so there's quite a few things with Task Changer. So switching to previous applications with gestures is one of those that is brand new. My favorite layout is Grid. Uh, if you go to Carousel, you're gonna see quite a few things. You can put this into mini mode. So this way, when you go through all your applications, which if I go to a few more applications, I open a few more up here, Gallery. So now that we've gotten a few, you can see that mini mode just really puts it on the bottom. Uh, so if you don't want it to be in mini mode, when you open this up, everything is going to be in the very center here. Uh, you can also center the most recently or currently used application, but really the main one is going to be uh, the previous application with gestures, meaning on the bottom when you swipe, it goes to that very last application you used. And again, it's only swiping on the bottom and it works best when you go from left to the right. When you sometimes go from the right to the left, you might be opening up your Google Assistant. So this is some of the things that happened with Task Changer that is new. It's gonna be making sure that this application, when you have it set up, because it is kind of acting like a launcher, that the uh, gestures for previous applications was added in. Uh, if we scroll down to clock face, you might also notice a few other new small ones inside of there. Uh, now, this is just gonna show you everything that was already pre-installed, everything that was by default. When you go inside of your clock face right over here, you're gonna notice a few of these over here that is pretty cool. This one's a enter text. I've shown this one from before and some people might be wondering, you know, how much text can you put in? And so you'd be able to go through and add in three lines. Uh, so if you're trying to add in like maybe your first name, middle name, last name, you know, Galaxy S20 Ultra, you can do whatever you want uh, and you can also indent them as well. So. Uh, this is a pretty cool little wallpaper if you like to, or clock face, if you like to add in, you know, all the way up to three lines of text. And as you go through a lot of these ones, you'll also notice some of these have a little bit of Korean. Um, let's see, let's go through. Uh, so there's only like two of them that's sitting like right here. Uh, you can also indent them completely differently, uh, which is also what you can see from what we saw from earlier before when I showed you that there was a lot of written out ones. Uh, that was actually because of all the different indents. Then you have all your pastel colors just sitting right here. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do inside of this one. This was mostly everything that I've seen. You can see here that there's an update here, an update there as well. Now when you go through some of these different modules, you will see this little notification here. That just means you click on that one. You'd be able to give this one an update. And then once you go on back, you'd be able to actually use you know this module and anything else that's really pretty much brand new you know noti star is okay i'm not a big fan of that one multi star is actually okay you can go through and you can play with uh having a different experience of using multiple windows different applications at the same time but because this one is the galaxy z flip i'm not going to play too much with multi star because they actually have built in on the side a multi-screen or a split screen tray that's actually just sitting right here. So I don't really wanna mess with that too much with the Galaxy Z Flip. But here is mostly all of the brand new updates for good luck for March. Again, it is March 4th. I feel like because the Galaxy S20 is coming out in two days, uh, officially being launched on March 6th, you're gonna see probably a couple more updates this week and next week that'll kind of bring in a few more cool little features. Uh, but yes, this one is working right now for anybody who already received the Galaxy S20 series, the Galaxy Z Flip. Uh, you pretty much have all the modules you need. And I gave you pretty much all the main changes for Lockstar, uh, Quickstar, Task Changer, and Clockface. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.